Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you this little envelope journal that I created. Um, I created it using some envelopes and it's just so cute, but first I'm going to tell you how um, I got inspired to make this. You know, I've been doing um, some Bible studies, some ladies Bible studies, and the last few that I've done, um, they've really encouraged you to write out your prayers and kind of, you know, write down um, your your heart on paper. And I've never really approached prayer that way. And it has been really meaningful to me. So I kind of wanted to make a place for me to keep those prayers. So um, this is basically a prayer keeper. <laughs> is how um, I got inspired to make it. So I made it with that in mind, but of course you could use it for anything that you wanted to. And if you'd um, like a tutorial on how I put the envelope journal together, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to put one together for you. But let me share uh, this one. Um, I created these images and they're all across um, a tabletop cross and some of them have a Bible this one has a crown of thorns and a candle and they're just really really beautiful so I have several of these that I created in here but the bits that I used you know I had put the base together and I hadn't put on the final touches and I got in the mail uh, my precious bits kit from Doreen and it came just right on time. It was like I, I did the unboxing, which um, I'll put a link up here in the iCards if you want to see the Precious Bits kit that I got from Doreen. It's absolutely amazing. And I so I had all the bits spread out. And so it was just perfect to then embellish my little um, prayer keeper, keeper uh, journal. So uh, most of the bits are from that kit. Um, I did uh, put cheesecloth uh, in pink and white behind most of the images and then I sewed them together before I adhered them down on top of this pretty little shabby paper I had in my stash. I don't even know who it's by, but it's so cute. And I did ink all the edges with some um, vintage photo. Nope, tea stain, sorry. <laughs> But these little bits down here came from the Precious Bits kit. I absolutely love this lace. And then this pretty uh, flower doily and then a flower on top with a little pink flower underneath with the sequined like little button. It's so cute. And then this glitter dipped leaf is from Doreen's kit. It's just so sweet. And I popped on a little bow and I made the closure out of this beautiful um, fabric ribbon that I got from Doreen's kit. I actually got a big, beautiful piece of this fabric, which I just love it. Um, also in that kit, but she also sent one, uh, you know, a little strip of it that was tied around something. So I used it as my closure. Just to open it up for you. So it's just it's so sweet so here I uh, made a little um, like notepad so I could write you could write whatever you want but I was thinking for um, writing down some prayers and then in this envelope these adorable index cards were in my kit from Doreen and then I used uh, one of my favorite stencils and some Victorian velvet I think is what I used and I stenciled them up but I thought these would be beautiful to write out some things on right each one is just so gorgeous I just think these are so fun so they, those fit really great in the first envelope pocket and now here um, I did use some scripture in here um, about prayer this one is mark eleven twenty four. And so the tag in the pocket has that scripture on it. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Mark eleven twenty four, And so that just slips right in there. And then there's a side pocket on this one. And it just 
holds more places to uh, make notes. This little envelope is from Doreen's kit and it just has some blank pages in there that you can uh, write your thoughts on. So cute. And that just goes in this side pocket. And then this one is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 with another pretty image. I stuck a teacup in this one. Isn't it pretty? And then um, this pocket has that tag. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So that just slides right in there. And then over here, isn't this beautiful? This came um, out of Doreen's uh, kit, Precious Bits kit. So cute. But I thought you could write whatever you want here and then you could just cover it with that beautiful, beautiful wallpaper maybe it is. I'm not real sure, but it's just so pretty. And then in this envelope pocket, I have a little trifold that I thought you could on these spaces you know, write what, whatever you want. So it has a lot of spaces for writing. It has another image with cheesecloth. And this back paper, my mom sent me a really, really old Bible that is just falling apart. So I know that everybody has mixed feelings about using the pages in your crafting, but, um, it was falling apart, so I used some of the Psalms to back, uh, back my little trifold here. And so that goes in here. I'm trying to do this with my camera right in the middle, so it's hard <laughs> to work around. It's a little difficult for me to work around. There we go. Almost. <laughs> and now um, this page I forgot to leave an opening for a pocket you know it happens but here's this image and I used some more bits uh, from Doreen's kit on that isn't that pretty and then over here this beautiful um, paper clip came in the precious bits kit and so I just clipped it on right here and in the clip, I have a piece of that scrapbook paper. And then I have this tea bag that makes a great pocket where you could write stuff and put it in. And I've got this also from, from Doreen's kit. It's just so cute. I love it. So that just tucks in right there. And then in this pocket, which I also got from Doreen's kit, is this beautiful stained paper that I thought would just be beautiful to write on. Just gorgeous. And I just think this is just the prettiest paper doily. So I just wrapped it around there and then it just sticks in this pocket. Super cute. Super cute. And so on this one is Philippians 4, 6. And here's the image. I just love how these images turned out. They are so cute. So cute. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So on these tags, which I didn't show you, they all have a back where you can write thoughts or prayers or anything you want on your tag. And that one just fits right in there. So on this side, I just made a little um, card that opens up that you could write whatever you want in there. And then in this pocket, another fantastic clip from Doreen's kit. And I put uh, this little piece. Uh, there's a big strip of this in Doreen's kit. And it's just, I love the way that it feels. So I put just a little bit hanging off. And this was just like this in her kit and I just thought it was cute so I kept it together and I thought because it's just so pretty and you could write on all of these things in that pretty pink paper and then this card is so cute and you could write on it too so I just left it all together because I thought it was so cute and put this cute paper clip on it 
and it slides right in that pocket. And then I just covered the back with some more paper. So I think it turned out really cute. I absolutely loved putting it together. I had a lot of fun with it. And I would love to hear what you think. Please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And I will put a link to um, Doreen's Facebook group um, and her YouTube channel and her Etsy. So you can go over and check it out. Her kit club is full, but she does have a waiting list if you're interested. And... Um, I will have this available in my Etsy, which you can find the link to my Etsy below also. All right, I hope you're doing well, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.